In this lecture of APM, uh, we are going to see what are the page object models and how you can uh, design the page object model if you are working on APM automation project. So let me explain what is the page object model first of all. Uh, any application or website is made up of pages. So that is the main concept used in page object models. And uh, each page is actually converted into a class. And then that's how, that's why it is called as page object model. Each page is considered as a class. And in that class, we define the members. Like let us say on that page, there are say five text boxes and then there is a checkbox and there is button. So all those elements or the on, that are displayed on the page are treated as the member of the class and uh, there are certain operations like clicking on those buttons or entering text in that edit box so all those uh, methods are created in that class and then we access those uh, that or we create the instance of that uh, page object or page class so here uh, in the example it will be very clear to you how we can use this page object models so let us say there is a home page and uh, there is another page contact us page let us say so you can see here i have created one class home and this base page is like uh, the common uh, operations that uh, you can do on the elements so all the common uh, things that you can put in the base page that is the parent class for this home page or for all the pages let us say there is a contact us page that will also extend this base page and uh, we will need this web driver because to interact with the elements uh, we need driver so we are passing this driver in this constructor of this class then we are instantiating this calling this uh, base class constructor using this syntax super driver and you can use this page factory dot init elements if you want to use this syntax like uh, there is input box then how you can find that using this xpath that's how you can find it and this find by is annotation uh, that is used in this page factory so but uh, page factory uh, is a api that is provided within the apm or the selenium and uh, you can use that but i don't recommend using that because the reason is that you can see here it returns the babe elements it doesn't return the actual xpath or the by instance it actually returns the web element but if you want to do the synchronization using web travel weight or the explicit weight then there is a duplication of this xpath that's why i do not uh, recommend using this page factory but what you can do is you can directly uh, define the elements using the by uh, class and then we can easily reuse that uh, whenever you want to use the web driver weight so basically uh, the uh, page object model concept wise is like that this create the class for each page let us say home page so here i have created a home class and then whatever the elements are displayed just create those elements like that and then methods that are that can be used to perform operations on those elements are here so similarly let us say there is a contact us page and then you can create the public class contact us whatever is the name and then extends base page similarly you have to use this constructor like that and the same way whatever elements are displayed just create those elements here and then methods and to use this uh, page object models what you can do is here i given the space page so here is the main test uh, let us see how uh, we are going to use this page object model here so you can see here i have created the instance of that home page class pass the driver instance and then i'm accessing this click battery uh, method that is inside that home home page or the home class and uh, that's it so that's how you can uh, perform different different operations on different different pages so let us say from home page we go to the contact us page then what we can do is let us say after uh, clicking on the contact link it is going to contact us page then we can return the new instance of the contact us page using this index new contact us page and then passing the driver that's how you can use this page object models it is very useful and the best way to automate the any wave application or the mobile application uh, the reason being it uh, removes the redundancy in the code and uh, if a certain page changes you have to make the change at one place not all or multiple places that is the main benefit of using this page object models if you have more questions or you want to implement this in your project let me through the comments thank you for watching this video